Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case, this is Skyflight44, aka Sec44, and today we're going to be playing more Morrowind. Think about it, I counted 21 quests for the first session, maybe around, around 21 in the second, and around 21 in the third apparently. Uh, however, first two sessions, first two uh, parts of this session, I've actually gone and done 10 quests. Uh, the... Oh, did not want to do that one. Um, the ones for... Uh, I... The, you know, the ones for the Patriarch. Uh, the up to the Patriarch, which is 5. The 5 for the actual... Um, what was it called? The guy in Genesis, the uh, Imperial uh, Legion recruiter guy. And we had to go over here to her. Yes, I went there. I had the blueprints. And yeah. Yeah. Now, I believe that was the last one, right? Yes. We are completely done with her quest now. The only quest that we actually have left is, um... Uh, there's only two of them, actually. Other than the guild master himself, but I'm only going to be doing one for him. Uh, we're going to be going over the Balmore, mainly because, well... I want to drop some of the stuff off, and there's also going to be more quests that we can actually go and do. Um, I might as well go and... Do talk to the quest, uh, you know, for the quest now. Uh, damn, that's wrong. I'm gonna have to go up higher to advance to the point where I can go back, talk to Ajira, and get uh, another actual quest from her. Okay, advancement, advancement, warlock. We need a wizard staff to uh, actually become a wizard. However. We can either go and get a wizard staff that somebody has, or we can just buy one for 5,000. I'm going to buy one because, well, that's what I did originally. I had the money for it. I really do have the money for it this time. Now we are a wizard. Now we are a master wizard. And the only way that can actually make us go any higher is Trebonius, uh, yeah. We, we ha that's the only rank we have left is Arc Mage, so uh, I just wanted to do that so that I can actually go and you know immediately do any quest now. Uh, that would be great anyway. There's two ways you can actually become the Arc Mage. You can either kill Trebonius himself uh, after you know he, he asks you, "Do you want a duel to the death?" In which, yes, we do want to actually go and duel to the death. Or we can actually go and, um, there's, uh, what was it, Skink and Tree Shade, I believe, gives you an actual, he actually gives you something that, uh, will, would allow you to, um, he gives you a letter which will actually make the Archmage share the position with you, because it's supposed to, uh, step down. Because he get, basically gets fired. But, oh well. It's not going to be all that bad. If we shared the Archmage position with him. But I'm going to be going and trying to kill him. Okay, we got that. But I also got an Ebony Spear. I don't really remember where the Ebony Spear is. Oh, there it is. Um, yep, Ebony Spear. So I don't really want the Halberd. Uh... Put away the Ebony Staff. The Demon Longbow and the Demon Mace can go. Uh, Dwarven Spear, fine. The Ebony Longsword. I don't really need, but I don't, you know, I, I do have the Stage of Katana over here, and this thing's uh, powerful as all hell. Ah, oh, damn. Let's go and uh, put some more in this one. Well, that won't fit. Okay, this crate. We'll drop these. Uh, we'll keep the Ebony Spear. We're going to keep the Daedric Tonto. How much? How good is that uh, condition? Okay, decent enough. 
the glass jink blade I'm going to be keeping as well. The storm blade can go away, though. Um, actually, this jink blade can also go away, because the condition on this one actually kind of sucks. Though, the paralysis is actually much longer. It's a weaker weapon, but it's a much longer paralysis. Oh, well. Uh, that one has better condition. This one is a hammer, right? Yes, I'll keep that. The wizard staff. We don't really need, but levitate one point for 120 seconds. Really cool. Don't really want to use it, though. Okay. Uh, I'll put away these arrows as well, just because I'm not going to be using... I don't have a good bow yet, so I'm not going to be using it. I uh, don't really use shields. Probably should, but let's put that away. We'll put all away the Dark Brotherhood stuff. Uh, the Ebony Mail, we're actually going to be putting that back on. Uh, Ebony Tower Shield. I might as well actually go and put that on. Oh. Let's put all the... Uh, damn. Any more crates. The Ebony... Uh, the... All the glass equipment we should probably put out. The Imperial Shield, Imperial Steel Boots, and... I love we have the Imperial Steel Curious. We probably don't need to get the Chain one anymore, so let's just take that out. Uh, don't really need the Helm. Or any of this other stuff. Though I really wish I didn't have to go and put this away now. Could just sell it immediately. Hmm. Amula of Heartthrum. Oh, yeah. This is this wonderful thing. Lightning shield, spell absorption, and fortified magicka. For a while. Though, it's uh, not too awesome. Uh, let's see. I might as well just keep everything else on me. But, uh, that's great. Now I can finally move again, with more speed, too. That's one of the big things. I, you know, I do like the speed. Especially since in this game, you're going to want the speed as much as possible, because you move so slow in the very beginning. Now I'm actually moving quite fast. My speed and my athletics still aren't at the same point as my other profile, but, oh well. I wonder. Uh, should I... Who actually trains in Chant? Do you train in Chant? Nope. You do train in Destruction. And I wouldn't mind getting that up right now, but do you train in Chant? Nope. Uh, do you train in Enchant? Yes, you do. What is my enchant at, anyway? Oh, it's at a really, really low. Might as well just bring it up to that. And then we're over encumbered. Oh, well. Uh, where's my four or five strength potions? Oh, wait. Hi, Ajira. Do you have any duties for me? Ooh, but you know of the Staff of Magnus. Where is the Staff of Magnus? Uh, it's in a cave. It slopes from Mount Kond, just northwest of Molagmar. Hmm. Okay. Really wish I knew of that earlier. But that'll be completely fine. Uh, let's see. We'll travel to Wolverine Hall. Um, we might be able to do this along with another actual quest. Actually, uh, let's see. Let's go and talk to him. Arrange a meeting. Okay, speak with the wise woman of the Ashlanders tribes. From what I've heard, I doubt the uh, Arab uh, Arab Ben Nimsum. Oh, whatever. I can't pronounce all that shit. 
Uh, or the other one would agree. The Zainab might agree, but I would speak with the Ahem Musa first. Okay, and we're going to have to go and arrange a meeting. Share your thoughts, friend. Okay, let's uh, travel to Vivek. We should be able to now get duties from him. We're going to get you do one duty. Oh, are you here to challenge my position in the guild? Do you think you have what it takes to be the Archmage? I'm doing duties. Huh, duties, you say? Yes, there are several things the Major Guild needs done. Let's see. Hmm. Find out what the dis Find out about the disappearance of the dwarves. Yes, that's an excellent task for you, Master Wizard. You're just trying to get rid of me, well, you son of a bitch. You don't think I'm able to do that. Okay, we're going to go back to here. Um, well, I'm just going to say that there's going to be a lot of walking from here on out. Uh, well, not too much. We have to go to um, Mount Cond again. There's a, something that's not very all that far from there. And uh, the camp we have to go to is right around here. And also, there's uh, something we have to go and do over here now. Uh, that's right. Let's go and get out that amulet. Now, the when I actually got the uh, wizard staff, that's when I that's when the game started turning from I like this game I really do love this game to oh shit this game is so much fun I absolutely adore it that's when I was given the ability to levitate for a long period of time and I just decided but to myself yeah I really need to go and beat this game entirely Okay, long blades at 90. Wonderful. Uh, one more, and then I'll, actually wait. One more, and I'll be able to go and uh, level up. Hmm. Athletics already half restoration. Oh well, it's probably going to be long blade though. That's going to be the one upgrading. But um, just. We need, we definitely, going up another level will allow us to actually get uh, intelligence done with and strength done with, because it caps out on 100. I'm going to be starting to put every third point into uh, luck, because luck's going to be something that's going to be hard to actually get up. And um, the only... We're going to need at least another 50 levels to actually get uh, it up all the way. All the other actual ones are going to be really, really easy to actually get up to 100. But not luck. Not luck at all. Though I may have ne probably should have gotten started getting luck anyway up. Beforehand. Okay, we're pretty close to this place. Now, it was in Asu. This was uh, Mount Khan Cavern. If I remember correctly, it was somewhere around, yeah, I believe a bit northward. If you actually. I actually went to this place earlier than I should have because I went right to Mount Khan where it was positioned on the map and I went to the closest cavern and the closest cavern I believe was uh, Asu. Is it down here? I don't really remember exactly where it is. Uh, Molagmar. Don't want to go too far away. Maybe it's across this actual area or something. Or this way. 
Could always be this way. Yep, right here. Now in here, there's actually... There was another thing that actually made me just start to love this game. And that was the fact that I actually... This was the first area in which I found, uh, you know, a lot of hidden areas where there were where you could actually go and uh, levitate in. And there was also the other reason why I really started to come to love levitate so much. And... Um, It was just, it was so wonderful. I actually found, I believe it was a Daedric, um, was it Wakazashi? I don't know. But it was good shit. That's all I have to say about it. Good shit. Did I, yes, I want to look at you. But, um, oh, this game's just so much fun. I, I, I really, is there an actual, um, spell that goes and, uh, untraps things? Because if there's a spell that actually, oh, that's right, I don't actually have, I don't actually have anything, um, I'm not wearing any armor. Ah, oh, potion of marking. Uh, there's nothing there. Well, is there any spell that can actually go and untrap things so that I can actually go and make a spell that does both the untrapping and uh, the unlocking? Okay. Uh, I'll do that later. Let's go and uh, bring out the ebony mail. And it's right over there, I believe. Though, I wonder, what's around here, actually? Huh. Oh, well, I, I stopped caring very, very quickly. Uh, let's go and levitate. Ooh, is that a frost atronach there? I mean, it's not going to matter, but... If that was a, uh... Stupid, really? Oh, look at that! That's an amazing value there! But... Oh, that actually is a pretty amazing staff as well. Wild Shard Sword. Okay, let's grab that. The money. Uh, might as well. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. I, I don't really care too much, but I probably should get rid of all these scrolls, too. I, I am not going to be using any of these scrolls. I, I don't really need that either. But let's go and open this. This is the only thing I have against this game. Is unlocking shit. Especially trapped shit. Oh. Really? First time with the apprentice lockpick to actually go and open up the um, 45. But on the 35 with the master's lockpick it took me a little while. Okay, levitate again. And right up here, there should be another Daedric weapon. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, gonna have to go and do this again. Though, untrapping is, is wonderful because uh, just how easy it is to go and um, 
when you actually untrap, you actually gain a lot of progression to um, security. Oh, I must be getting good at this. Daedric Die Katana. I. Holy shit. That is much better than what I found last time. Holy crap. What I got last time was either Daedric uh, Wakazashi or a Daedric War Axe. I damn well did not find. Ooh, more exquisite stuff. I damn well did not find an actual, um... Oh, what was it called? Uh, Daedric Daikatana. What does that do? It's a two-handed weapon. And it has amazing actual... Uh, what was it called? Condition. You know what that means? If I really wanted to... Bye bye, Daedra Katana. <laughs> that actually does more damage. And has even better condition. Holy shit. Ah, oh, damn, that's wonderful. And the value is out the freaking roof. But, I really should be going for Short Blade now. So. Uh, uh, screw it. I'll, I'll go and use the Daedra Katana a little bit longer just for the, you know, old time's sake, I guess. Um, once I actually go and... Actually, wait. Let's... Teleport ourselves out of here. After this, I'll just teleport myself to, uh, Wolverine Hall. And then I'll be fine. But, um, that's a wonderful, wonderful weapon I have there now. And I really do need to go and bring up my short blade for the Thieves Guild and all that. But, uh, I might as well go for long blade all the way to the max so that, you know, I, I no longer can go and bring that up anymore. Um, when I do do that, though... I am going to make it so that uh, I'm not actually going to need to. Uh, I, I'm, my my mind's everywhere. When I actually get up to a hundred in long blade, I'm going to be getting and putting away either Daedric Katana or the Daedric actual um, Die Katana, and whichever one I actually go and put away. I'm going to... I'm not going to be using it. However, if there's a legitimately difficult fight up ahead and my uh, short blade isn't working, I'm going to be going and putting out the Daedra Katana. Or the Daedra Katana, whichever one. However, we're going to need... Actually, wait. I'm going to mark... This area right here. Because when I when I finish doing what I want to do, I'm going to be coming over here. Now, let's see. Uh, Mark. Okay, mark that place. Now let's go and get water walking. But, uh, we're actually going to be going and, uh, where's the area? Where, I believe it's either right here. This is a place, maybe over here. I'll, uh, have to go and, uh, look that up. But, uh, there's this new area that we can actually go to that we're actually going to have to go to anyway. And the main quest, however... This is actually going to go and, uh, this is going to help us figure out where the, uh, disappearance of the dwarves thing is. Okay, I found out where it is.
It's right here. So we're going to be going straight down now. Straight south. After I figure out what's in here. There's actually a shipwreck here? Unknown shipwreck. Okay, it seems like it was cleaned out. There's like a super secret boss in here or something. It doesn't seem like there's much of anything in here. Oh, yeah! There's a basket full of pillows. I, I remember telling you that there was an actual, um, damn it. I remember telling you that there was an actual, uh, quest involving that, uh, woman who had all the pillows. And which there should be an invoice somewhere. We have to go and find... Okay, there's somebody in here. Okay, it was a slaughter fish. No. Oh, there's actually a good amount of shit. Maybe, though, this isn't the place. I don't know. I have actually never done anything in here. I've never found this place. Okay, screw it. We're going to have to get out the water breathing, too. I can barely move in this place, and you're gonna try and attack me. <sighs> now we're gonna have to go and use Nullmos, Fortify, Strength Potions. Okay, what's in this barrel? Well, it's not barrel. Already got it? Fine. We get what's in this crate? Nah, we don't need to. About this one. Don't need to for that one. What's in the sack? Okay, but I I am gonna try and go back up to that uh, captain's place just because maybe there is that invoice here. Basket of pillows. Yeah, this has to be the place that there's a basket of pillows. Okay. I don't think there's any other place here. Let's get out Night Eye. To make this searching a bit easier again if there's actually anything here huh maybe there really isn't anything here maybe I'm just getting a little bit you know uh, maybe I'm just a little bit uh, too quest happy right now I have completed quite a few of them Quite a few quests now. Not so much in this actual part. I've only completed one so far. But in the first part of the day. And this session I completed four. And the last one I completed six. That's already half as much as what I did the last three sessions. Well in each session itself. But um should be completely fine. There's st still... Oh, I haven't done a lot of miscellaneous quests, though. Okay, where'd that guy go? Uh, I do not know where the octopus fan went. I wanted to see if I could actually go and kill that guy. But this new area that we're going to be going to is, will be one we're going to have to go back to for the, um, for
for the actual main quest. And it's actually going to be a pretty interesting one, too. The thing about it is, uh, this is where the um, all the people uh, that, you know, are have been infected by a corpus will actually come here. Talfir. Now, this is also has one of the most eccentric dark elves I've ever seen. Basically, yeah, we have to go and see this guy. Have you come to plunder the dungeon, or have you got corpus disease? Or did you come to see uh, Devo uh, Deveth Fear? I'm Bete uh, Fear. I'm the wife of Deveth Fear. One of them, sort of. Yeah, we can obviously see that this guy is weird. Um, yes, well, not wife in the married sense, but you know paramour consort something like that it's a bit awkward really because well he made us too so though we aren't really his daughters or anything it's like we were his daughters because he made us you see weird you'd be surprised how many people come in here trying to steal lord fear's treasures he does have quite a collection of relics and artifacts but he keeps them down in the corpusarium and who wants to risk catching corpus disease not to mention who wants to get ripped in half pity we don't see many good thieves here just the stupid ones okay He's up in his study. I hope you can fly. You can't get up there unless you can fly or have potions. Sorry. Everyone who gets corpus disease comes to our corpusarium. It's not very pleasant, but at least they're all fed and cared for. Yeah, doesn't this sound like a wonderful place? And doesn't this guy sound like a wonderful person? Oh well. Uh, let's see. You must be somebody else. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet I don't believe I've seen a dark elf such a grand outfit. Oh, yeah. It's a dapper outfit. Uh, you don't really do anything. Uh-huh. Let's see. Uh, if it's not high lock, I don't really care. Uh, anything good to read? No. The thing about it, the only ones that you can actually steal without him actually giving a shit, and he's up here, is the ones he's, you know, locked in the corpusarium and all the good things. But, um, this guy is... He's very... Eccentric. That's all I'll say about him. Actually, let's go and get uh, one of those restore potions. Then after that, I'll get my my other thing. My uh, what was it called? Look, a hundred lock and trapped. Three blessings. And I'll get another one. Okay. Well, what a pleasure, a visitor, an entertaining diversion. Come to consult the great. David Fear, you have the divine disease? Want to plunge at a dungeon or leer at my daughters? Okay. <laughs> I wonder. Uh, let's go and ask about the divine disease. The magical principles of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous, far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I'm persuaded it is in some manner the curse or blessing of a god, perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It saps the mind and destroys the body. But to a wizard, it is a profound and glorious mystery, a riddle worth a long, uh, long lifetime of study. Okay, Egg of Time. This is an interesting work. Yagram Bargram might be able to tell you more. Okay. Daughters. Not bad for something born in a jar, eh? Charming and talented. Not daughters, really. A little project, a side benefit of my researches into corpus disease. 
Made them myself, my own flesh. Nice. Aren't they? Uh, uh, quite a comfort to me in my old age. Okay, you're weird. Really, really weird. Plunder the dungeon. When you've lived for thousands of years, you need a hobby. Something you love always sparks you, you know, always sparks your interest. I collect treasures and invite thieves to steal them. I'm a collector and a sportsman. I collect enchanted items and ancient artifacts. have quite a few Dwemer pieces. And as a sportsman, I love letting thieves try to steal my well-guarded treasures. Only a few rules. One, don't hurt the inmates. Two, don't hurt my daughters. My warden and guards can look out for themselves. Who's the warden? Okay, the Argonia is my warden of the Corpusarium, quite a fighter, tough as nails, self-taught. Works out my uh, works out with my daughters, who are no slatches at the uh, at the martial arts themselves. One of the last of my slaves freed him, and he wouldn't leave. Kept him on as a hireling. Okay, cool. Fine companion, not an intellectual, you understand, but good company for me and my daughters. Ah, so pretty weird. Corpusarium. I collect victims of the divine disease in my co uh, corpusarium. In the caverns beneath my tower. Poor devils. Wretched existent, uh, existence. Constant pain, ferocious appetites and passions. No reason at all. Mad as marsh rats, but marvelous too. And their way. Completely immune to disease. Live forever, barring accidents. I, uh, ancient wizards need projects to keep them occupied. And the corpusarium is mine. You are a nut job, but that's exactly why I love you. He's weird as all hell, but I love him for it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save before I try stealing that thing, but um, let's go and get uh, two fortify intelligence potions. I'm going to have to go and make some more pretty soon. But uh, with this, I should be able to go. And have a really easy time going and opening this shit. Let's go and grab the Master's Probe. Or one of them, at least. Oh shit, didn't want to do that. Curious to save your side. Light armor, 88. Resist magic, 60% uh, on self. Holy shit. Did I not say? Is there something I can he do? has wonderful, wonderful shit in here. Okay, I'm going to save just in case. I don't know if he's going to allow me to pickpocket this... Uh, thing right here. He's most likely not going to. Uh, but, uh... Completely fine with that? You still completely fine with that? Scourge! Ah, oh, Blunt weapon. One-handed. Looks like he's wonderful. Actually, some of the Dremor and the Scamp for me, too. You fine with that too? Oh hell yeah, you are my buddy. Um thank you. Now let's drop down. Now uh, again, if it's not a wonderful, wonderful lock that uh takes a shitload of uh magic uh, to go and unlock, I'm not going to be doing it. Now there's two actual places to go. This next one's going to be the uh, Corpusarium. Though I have no idea where the... Ooh. Okay. Key. I just want to go down to the Corpusarium, which I think's right here, actually. What does this do? Well, it's trapped. And I don't really like trapped. 
Actually, now that I think about it, I could have just used that to open that. Are you special or something? Oh, uh, who are you? Okay, you can go back in there. I have no idea who you are. However, one of the things he actually does is he gives you, uh, there's like a key. Everybody in the first area of this place will, uh, try and, uh, kill you. Well, except for that dude, but all the corpses in here will try and go and kill you. And, uh, basically you're trying to find all the treasure chests, which will basically give you a key to another treasure chest. Okay, make sure I actually have this. Yeah, you know, I'm trying... Yeah, you know, he doesn't want you killing anybody. But, okay. It's not like I'm actually going to be using the uh, keys themselves. But the, the guys in the second area, I don't believe, will actually go and try and harm you. Uh, anything over here? No. So all I got was up the, in that area. Let's go check this one. Okay. Brings us to the second one. Second area, anyway. I don't really know how many chests are in here. I'm just gonna make a clean... Uh, well, not clean sweep, but I'm gonna try and find as many as I possibly can. If I can't... I'll just continue on. Because so I don't want to spend... I already got the good shit that was outside um, of this place in the top area. Wow, that spell's working a lot of the time. Which I actually, you know, relatively love. It's actually working for me. Is there anything down here? Okay, there is. Well, it really is working very, very often. Okay. I might as well just go and pick up the key, just in case. Probably gonna have to go deep down here. The only enemies around here should be the actual um, corpusarium guys, anyway. And I'll go and use water breathing as well. Okay, do I see any chest around here? I don't really see any chest, so... I should probably just get the hell out of here. Unless it's right around here. Which it isn't. Okay, that's fine. Well, is there anything over here? No. No, still can't find anything. Hmm. Over encumbered. Okay, another one of these. Actually, I'm going to see if I can find a... Uh, map of this area, just so I can, you know, get everything. Okay, I think I found out exactly where everything is. Um, we got the one that was right here. Ah, oh, there's 
Wooden staff here and some gold. But we found that. Uh, did we go in here and find one? Yes, we did. There's four around here, basically. And I believe we did get the two that was in here, if I remember correctly. Uh, the one in the back. Let me just make sure. Damn it. The one in here. We got, and, uh... There was another one. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't get this one. Okay, then that means this one's going to be the one that we're actually going to need to go and take. The, um... Again, I probably have a key for this one. Oh shit. Completely forgot to go and unlock that. Oh well. Let's go and pick up the key. And let's get the hell out of here. That was all the ones that were in here. There is one for... There's supposed to be one for the uh, next area. But the ones in this area shouldn't really attack you. Uh, okay. I guess I fell. Gonna have to levitate this time. But, um, around here should be one at the very end of this place. There is a, there is something you're not supposed to go and take here. You can go and take uh, one chest that's around here. One of the other chests you are not supposed to go and take. Yes, I did actually have the key for one of these. Oh, uh, there's all these freaking amulets. Might as well just go and take that key. Yeah, this one's not going to attack me. Like I said. Now, there are two actual locked places in here. There should be a chest. Do not go and loot that. Because they will attack you. The closet. But this should be fine. I guess I don't actually have the key for this one. Ah, uh, well. I failed. And actually got it that time. Okay. Uh, this should. Damn it! Forgot to go and do that. Volan drunk. Okay, it's not all that really wonderful. The condition's great, but that value's pretty low. The only thing that's good here is the dwar uh, Dwemer coins. I might as well go and take it just anyway. However, you are another one of those, uh, ones, those daughters. You are weird. Do not harm me or you will be very sorry. I warn you, leave me alone and I will leave you alone. Hmm. Okay. Disappearance of the dwarves. Hmm. I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in the outer realm of time. And when I came back, my people were gone. Ha! Ah. He's actually one of the Dwemer. Inflicted with corpus disease. Hmm, that's pretty bad. That's pretty sad. I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years, searching out of deserted colonies, looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found corpus disease, and I've been here ever since. I have theories, if you're interested. Lord Kagrana the foremost arcane philosopher and mage crafter of my era devised tools to shape my uh, uh, to shape mytho mytho po poetic or whatever something forces intending to transcend the limits of the Dwemer 
mortality. However, in reviewing his formulae, uh, some logicians argued that side effects were unpredictable and errors might be catastrophic. I think Kagranak might have succeeded in granting our race internal life with unforeseen consequences, such as wholesale displacement to an outer realm. Or he may have er uh, erred and utterly destroyed our race. Okay. However, I have a good time. By refreshing my memory of divine metaphysics, that'll, that'll work. Uh, this book is just an explanation of some of Kagranak's theories. I could spend hours explaining them to you, but Kagranak is dead, and I believe his theories must die with him. Lack of time. By refreshing my memory with defined metaphysics, I believe I can explain that Dwemer were not unified in their thinking. Kagranak and his, his uh, tonal architects among them uh, somebody else uh, believed they could improve the Dwemer race. Others argued that an attempt would be too great a risk. The war with Nerevar and Dunmer have led Kagranak to carry out his experiments prematurely, although his book argues that nothing disastrous could result. The disappearance of my race argues otherwise. Once I was a master crafter in the service of Lord Kagranak, chief architect of the great Second Empire Freeholds, and the greatest enchanter of his time, I could not match the genius of Lord Kagranak, but what he could envision, I and my colleagues could build. All of that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but my hands and eyes fail me. And my memories have faded. My only consolation is each day to mock the gods who destroyed my race and condemn me to bleak existence. Since the disappearance of the dwarves, I have been alone in this world, trapped in this grim prison. I can scarcely move, and my fellow inmates have scarcely good company. The risk of corpus disease deters most visitors, but if you meet with cultivated minds and daunted by the terrors of the corpusarium, you might mention your recent interview with the last living dwarf. This is how I style myself. I do not know for a fact that I am the last, but in my travel, uh, my travels thousands of years ago, I never encountered another. And since I have been here, I often ask Lord Fear, but he says he has never heard a credible rumor of another Dwemer on Tamriel or in any outer realm. Mm. That's uh, pretty sad. But uh, he's plot important. He's very plot important. So I'm going to be moving back to uh, Sadrith Mora right now. Okay, I'm back. I use Recall to get back to where I was before. And we're actually going to be going towards uh, Talmora, actually. Thing about uh, Telmora is we're going to be going to that camp that we uh, had to go to. to it's actually you. also a uh, little quest we have to do there as well. But uh, let's go and get out water walking over encumbered. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually did level up uh, by accident. I just, you know, I went and, um, you know, rested. I put up my strength by one, my agility by one, I mean, my agility by three, my intelligence by one. I was just trying to get some more magic. But, uh, I'm gonna want to go and do that. Actually, we're probably gonna want to go and equip the weapon. But, uh, we can't make any strength go any higher our strength go any higher so oh well that's going to suck a little bit intelligence as well so our mana our magic is pretty much maxed out unless we use these uh, actual uh, unless we use these potions anyway okay now we're on Vos We've just went from one city to another. Damn. Yeah, uh, but we had to go around 
up here. It's not going to take us all that long to get over there. And because it's not oblivion, time doesn't mean a damn thing when it, uh, when you talk to people. So, northwards. This, the eastern half of Morrowind is one I'm so very unfamiliar with, actually. Just because most of, you know, and most of my times playing this game, I was actually, um, I was just in the western half. And a lot of the quests I've done are in the western half. It's just, this is also the Talvani area. The uh, Talvani are very big in the um, eastern half. The uh, Imperials are not big over here either. Uh, Sadrith Mora and the Wolverine Hall is it, nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Uh, what do you want? Okay, stranger, yes you. Please, can you help me? I've been attacked by a couple of bastard Ashlanders who robbed me and left me for dead. Okay. I know them anywhere. They looked kind of like normal dark elves, but wild. They were animal skins and had tattoos, and they had uh, odd hair. They should be easy to spot, friend. It's no surprise they robbed me. Yes. Okay. Hmm. They took my entire shipment of guar hides. Okay, I'll see if I can find your hides. Hmm. And we can't let an unwarranted attack on Guarhide trade a ruin business. Okay. Now, I had no idea what you could possibly actually be, you know, doing here. But I'll be, I'll probably be able to actually go and find this out. Oh, this is the only quest here, too. Okay. It's south of the uh, um, uh, Hamusa camp. That shouldn't be all that uh, difficult to find. Okay. I'm going up towards it anyway. However... Oh. Uh, Okay, I'm right above Talvos, so I might as well go this way. I should be able to find this place again. All I know. And this is on the way to where I'm supposed to go anyway, I really don't care. Is that a shulk I see? Two shulks. One of the few actual enemies that, you know, you actually want to go and uh, kill off with, uh, you know, ice uh, elemental, because they are weak to it. However, they picked the wrong actual character to go and beat up on, because, well, I'm not. Oh, I actually got to, I actually got to the place I was supposed to get to. Damn. Um... Let's go to Wise Woman's here. Uh, are you the Wise Woman? Hopefully you are. Uh, arrange a meeting. I will not meet with this Argonian. I might send my apprentice. Hmm, okay. Um, it is time she saw how your foreigners live and left her childish notions behind her. She is in the Favel tomb. What are her childish notions? Uh, Minabibi does not respect our ways. She is like a sister to every foreigner who visits our camp. I fear she will not make a good wise woman. Oh, I get it. Uh, I'm a foreigner. That, uh, makes me kind of angry. Favel tomb, that's directly west from here. However, we're going to be going south. Is that actually a lot of the master trainers are generally around these camps? So 
you can actually get some really nice training done in this area. In all of these areas, actually. Uh, is this the place? Possibly. Hi there. Are you suggesting we have done this? That is fine, Dark Alpha. It is true. Hmm. Kashitis and I have taken the hides, and in our possession they will remain. Prepare to meet your gods, for no one may take what is ours now. Okay, you're dead. Oh, I killed your guar, too. Oh, sorry. No, oh, both you actually had arrows. For having... The thing about it is... The master trainers, a lot of them are around here. However, they also have some of the... All these Ashlanders have a horrible... Horrible actual... Um, just... Uh, equipment on them. They have no good equipment. Oh, well, we actually did this quest. I wasn't expecting to do this quest. But this is fine. Well, look at you. I guess I'll do this and then finish the other quest I was doing and that'll be it. Oh, it's on Nick's Hound? Barely see, but I think it is. Oh, a blighted one, too. Actually, no, I'm just going to do this. I'll do the uh, rest of the stuff I was going to do in the next part. Over oh, there he is. Uh, wait, did I actually grab his hides? Damn. I didn't actually go and grab those hides. Oh, well. I'll meet you back at that place in the uh, next part, everybody. See ya.